Hey y'all, and welcome back to the third and final retopology video in the character creation course. I'm Sir Pinkbeard, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I retop hands. Now, because at this point, I've already done two retopology videos where I have shown you the process of adding the modifiers and adjusting the settings and all of that for retopping in Blender without any special add-ons, I'm gonna be using my favorite retopology tool, RetopoFlow, which is a wonderful add-on that you can get in Blender by going to Blender Market here, and you can see it's about $86, though occasionally it does go on sale for somewhere around 60. So definitely check this thing out if you're going to be doing any amount of uh, retopology in Blender, it speeds things up significantly. So without any further ado, let's get started. To get started, what we want to do is add in an eight-sided circle around each of the joints in our fingers. So I'll just show you the thumb here, and then I will go ahead and time-lapse the rest of the fingers. But as you can see, I'm adding in an eight-sided circle at each of the joints and then the tip of the finger. And then I'm going to come back in and add in a loop cut here to just show more of the finger shape overall in the topology. And once you've done that, move on to the next finger and repeat. Now to finish up the fingertips, all we want to do is connect the faces across. So we can grab the top edge here and connect it to the bottom edge and then connect the edges on the way around. But this is going to leave our fingers a little bit weird. So we want to actually connect this vertex with this vertex all the way across. And so we can just real quick add in those extra vertices. And there we go, the tip of our thumb is now complete and then we just repeat that process going around the other fingers. So now that our fingers are done, it's time to actually connect them. To connect our fingers, what we need to do is create a channel going through the fingers that ends in a triangle somewhere like right here, something like that. And then it's also going to end in a triangle on this side as well. So we just need to connect both sides of faces going up until right about here, at which point they will uh, turn into that triangle face. So now that we've seen that, let's go ahead and do that. So just to show you what I mean here, what we're gonna do is connect this face with this face right there. And then instead of trying to connect these two faces, we're just gonna take this face out to get a triangle. And we'll do the same thing over here to connect up the triangle and then we have the quad. So then just fill in that face and do the same thing on the inside here. Okay, so you can see we've got the little section going through there as well as the triangle on each side. And so to finish up this section, what we're gonna do is actually create an edge loop running all the way around uh, these sections of fingers here. So we should have an edge that goes all the way across there when we're done.
So our fingers are connected and we have an edge loop running all the way around the base of the fingers. And during that time lapse, I also moved some of the vertices at the base of the fingers towards the base of the fingers to kind of help uh, define that area a little bit better. So now what we're going to do is fill in this section here. And because we are doing retopology, we want to try to do this in as few edge loops as possible, which I think is going to mean two. So we'll probably have a face that ends somewhere around here, and then one that eventually then goes and connects to the thumb, but fills in the rest of the way. So let's go ahead and get that done. Now, you may have noticed during the time lapse that I went ahead and connected the second edge that we created to the base of the thumb. And you know what? That's perfectly okay. Uh, you could have added in an extra edge loop there if you want to, but I was okay doing that. So from here, let's actually work on the thumb here because we're gonna have a couple of different poles and vertices coming off in some different sections. So we'll stop filling in this area and really just work on expanding out the thumb. So let's take a quick look at what we just did with the thumb. So we took this face right here and we're making this come out and go around the hand. And then we brought in kind of a U-bend here with this face to go up and into the index finger, leaving us with this additional quad here to then uh, assist with carrying around the second edge loop there. We also then brought the thumb down towards the base of the wrist to go up to the forearm and then these faces can come off in this direction and you'll notice we've got a nice little mirror between these two edges here and these two edges here. So let's go ahead and fill in all the way around and then start taking these edges down towards the forearm.
So now that our faces are going all the way around and they're connecting at the base of the wrist, all we have to do is take it to the forearm. And so we can do that very quickly with Retopo Flow by just using the contours brush here. Definitely worth using, definitely worth getting Retopo Flow, especially if you're going to do any type of normal or frequent retopology in Blender, it makes it significantly easier. But we do have some issues here with these faces because they don't look great. So we're gonna go ahead and grab the Relax tool here and just kind of uh, relax these faces so they end up a little bit more rectangular and square and uh, similar in size. So this is just gonna relax things. And if I don't like the way that it is relaxing it, uh, I can go always go in with the tweak brush here and uh, just kind of tweak vertices in the direction I want them to go. And what I'll probably notice is that I don't have a lot of uh, representation here in the wrist, so I could add in then just another loop going around and maybe one here and maybe one here as well. But then it's really just time to relax and add in those things. All right, and the hand is practically done. Now, like I said, you could go in and continue relaxing it, and I probably will, but for all intents and purposes, this hand is completely retopped. So at this point, guys, our hands are finished. And the last thing we need to do is go back to object mode and then right click on them and shade smooth and then come over to the object data properties, choose normals, and then turn on auto smoothing and adjust the auto smoothing value until everything is smooth as you like it. So with that done, this completes the retopology section of the course. And if you guys wanna check out the entire character course, you can click on the playlist right up here. Or if you just wanna check out one of the other tutorials, you can click on one of the cards over there. I'm Sir Pinkbeard, thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed it, let me know in the comments below or subscribe. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next one.